Hello, I'm Dr. Jim Taylor, and welcome to Prime Business Alert. This segment of Prime Business Alert focuses on work-life balance, part one. With the challenges we all face in the global economy, many people feel pressure to work harder and put in longer hours at work. That commitment may enable them to keep their jobs and maintain a certain lifestyle, but at what cost? In my consulting practice, I've seen a rise in stress levels, unhappiness, and family conflict among business people with whom I work. Clearly, the lives of many business people are out of balance. While all business people have to do what's necessary to survive this economic crisis, a short-term focus can take a toll that isn't beneficial in the long run. The ability to maintain some semblance of work-life balance is essential for both immediate functioning and long-term health and well-being. I think of work-life balance as being like a healthful and delicious meal. To create such a meal, you must have the right combination of ingredients in just the right amounts. I believe there are six essential ingredients in work-life balance. Personal, physical, professional, social, spiritual, and avocational. Which of these ingredients and their quality quantities you need is up to you. But if one of or more of the ingredients that are important to you aren't present in your life, your life can't be balanced. Imbalance occurs when you have too many or too few ingredients, or the wrong combination of ingredients in your life. The causes of work-life balance can include work demands, neglect of your other needs, a busy life, lack of awareness, success, and loss of perspective. The consequences of imbalance can be dramatic and impact every area of your life. You can experience psychological and physical stress, a decline in work performance, ill health, physical discord, life dissatisfaction, and even crackberry addiction, that is to say, an over-dependence on your smartphone. The symptoms should also be warning signs to you. If you're experiencing these reactions, a red flag should be alerting you to step back and take a look at what's happening in your life. A variety of conflicts can arise in your life due to work-life imbalance. You may feel guilt for not spending enough time with your family. You might also feel an opposing guilt for not devoting enough time to your work. You may miss participating in personal and social activities that are important to you. And your relationships with family and friends may suffer. Before you can take active steps to create more work-life balance, it's important to gain, gain a, a broader perspective on the role that it plays in your life. Balance really isn't the goal here. The ultimate goal is well-being, which I define as coming from physical health, healthy relationships, rewarding work, and meaning and happiness in your life. Balance plays perhaps the central role in well-being because without balance, all of the other contributors to well-being are jeopardized. You have two goals in striving for work-life balance. First, you must recognize that absolute balance may simply not be possible at this time. The realities of the current economic situation may require imbalance in your life to maintain your professional position. With that in mind, your immediate goal is to find balance in the imbalance. In other words, seek out small morsels of balance in your necessarily imbalanced life. This could mean a run at 4 a.m. or reading the newspaper for 20 minutes at lunch or having a meal with your family in the evening. The key is to do something of personal meaning for you each day, for whatever short time it might be. This brief nourishment of the soul goes a long way to maintaining a modicum of balance in an otherwise imbalanced life. Second, strive for true balance over time. Look into your future and ask yourself what you need to do to find that deep and lasting balance in a few months or perhaps even a few years. Perhaps you will choose to sacrifice short-term balance for long-term equilibrium. Or you may decide that life isn't worth waiting for and assert balance into your current life at this moment. In either case, make a deliberate decision about balance in your life rather than just being swept away by the torrent of life. A final thought to put balance in perspective. Time is the most important resource you have because it's non-renewable. The clock is ticking equally fast on all of us and it can't be stopped or turn back. Because time is such a valuable commodity, it should be spent wisely. You should spend your time doing those things you value most. As a result, time deserves your careful consideration. Because, as the saying goes, on your deathbed, you're not going to wish you spent more time at the office. The first step in moving toward greater balance in your life is to define balance for yourself. What, ingre what ingredients do you value most? 
which ingredients are currently too overpowering and which are not even in the mix of your life. Then, what is reasonable balance for you at the present time? How much time and energy can you realistically devote to each part of your life? Next, evaluate where you are now and where you want to be so you can see clearly how far you have to go and what you need to do to get there. If you have a spouse or family, the process of creating work-life balance must be inclusive because there are more needs that must be considered than your own. The key is for everyone involved to communicate their needs, be mutually respectful and understanding, and come to an arrangement that best meets everyone's needs, while recognizing that compromises will likely need to be made. To conclude, the process of creating balance in your life involves the following. Understand what balance really is. Explore balance in your life. Make balance a value and a priority. Communicate. Make deliberate decisions about balance in your life. Take action, and most importantly, persist in pursuit of work-life balance. In the next segment of Prime Business Alert, I'll discuss practical strategies you can use in your work and in your personal lives to create more work-life balance. Until then, don't fall off life. I'm Dr. Jim Taylor for Prime Business Alert.